Welcome Crystal Souls on this new piggy guide. Today we're gonna talk about your twin flame. So I invite you to pick between these three pals. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. Take your time, you can meditate on the cards and then when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. And before I start, I want to let you know that if you want some personal guidance or my book of answers, which I'm going to use during this reading, everything is linked down below. If you want to support me, I also created an ASMR channel and I have a Christmas one dedicated for you guys. So if you want, everything is gonna be linked in the description. So group number one, let's start and see first the message right there. So those lips are tempting me a lot is the message from this card that you picked today. So what I see is especially your twin flame desiring to make a move towards you to make sure that you understand how they truly feel and how much attraction is there. And it's hard to resist them. It's very tempting to kiss you right now. So for the messages, we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Six of Cups and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So here I see that your twin flame is wanting you to know what is part of your destiny, what is part of what you guys came here to do. So this could be a reminder. What is something that animates you? What is something that you feel called to do? And what change do you want to manifest? Or this could be this inner change. Who do you want to become? And you might be meant or being pushed and inspired right now to become somebody different so then you can be together. I do believe this talks about the cycle this evolution cycle that you need to be experiencing while taking risks that will lead you towards your fortune or your destiny together. This twin flame is telling you to get out of your comfort zone, to not be stuck in any type of cycle, karma, or just even your mind thinking about um, like the way you are, the things you can do. What I see as well is that you guys are experiencing the same cycles, the same karma. And even when this is pretty heavy. So with the Ten of Wands, I see that need of liberation. I see somebody who is very hardworking and telling you I am working on this or I'm really wanting to create the best right now with my career or studies so then in the future we can change our fortune and live comfortably. So I see indeed somebody who is hardworking, who is just very dedicated to their task, their dreams and they want to make it, they want to become successful, possibly even popular with the Wheel of Fortune here. And with the Six of Cups, what I see with this card is that you guys will, when together, feel like kids again. Feel like you are liberated from this heavy burden, heavy pressure at work or just this stress and anxiety. So when together you'll feel liberated, you'll feel like you just want to have fun, you want to explore life and you just want to connect back to your essence. And I'm sure this is a symbol too connect back to your inner child because this is when you are more inspired, more in flow and this is when your fortune is changing or your state of being is changing. So if you feel this way, definitely go back to your inner child, do things that you loved to do when you used to be a kid so then you'll feel like I am really shifting right now and I feel my best. So of course I attract more good things around me. But this will serve you to also manifest faster your twin flame or to spend more time together. But know that your twin flame is really pure in the essence and your twin flame desires to be with you. The Six of Cups connects to nostalgia. So know that your twin flame's soul is very nostalgic of the time that you spent together. You possibly spent some time when you used to be a kid or your telepathic ability when being a kid was very, very awakened and even though you was not fully aware for example some kids do have like an imaginary friend or they just feel a presence around them this could also be because their twin souls might be visiting them and connect with them as like a guide but actually that's just a, proje a projection of their souls 
of the split that is guiding them here. So your twin flame is wanting you to know, while growing up, I was always present solely. So your higher self was really supporting you in the ups and down. So whenever you feel like celebrating life or whenever you feel like I am really dealing with a lot of pressure, you can go back to your twin flame. And I'm sure this is a way for you to know that whenever you are experiencing these things, you're always accompanied and supported. So you are never, never alone. And because this God is also associated to twin flames as a connection, that is just showing to me that you guys are divinely connected and this is your destiny to now be physically together. And you could see temptation, desire to be together here. So know that your twin flame is taking the step to then be with you. Even here you can see a path at the distance, the path to the city. Could be this person moving currently physically to then be with you. So let's see a couple cards to see more about your future together. <laughs> I was just talking about the move and we are first move. So yes. So if you haven't met your twin flame yet physically, expect this person to make the first move. Or when it comes to seduction and more intimacy, I see this person leading. Or unless this is you feeling guided to make the first move. And we have love at first sight. Of course, because this is like the two of you, your souls, recognizing each other. And you love each other beyond, of course. So it's just an illusion to be separated. But in the essence, of course, you love each other because you are one. And so this oneness feeling is going to feel like love at first sight because you finally you know, find this missing piece of the puzzle and you understand, oh, I was looking for you and I feel complete right now. So love at first sight is what you can expect. And a first move from you or the person. I feel like the wheel can talk about that next step, next move. And you could see that step here. So yeah, I do believe this is showing up to let you know your twin flame is currently on the go to make a move towards you and to make that relationship happen. So let's continue and pick message cards. I respect and honor myself. So this could be something to repeat or this could be related to your twin flame's message. So when you honor respect yourself this is when I show up because I am myself working on becoming somebody that I respect honor and love and you can see this is really giving power couple vibes here so <laughs> it is just very empowering to see and let's see these messages don't you dare resisting me we saw in the temptation getting closer and closer and then I am the one your soul will recognize. No doubt, really, when you meet this person, you will know that's my twin flame. Even though you might doubt a lot, still, you will just feel, okay, there is something going on there. And I came here to save you. So expect to be understood, to be saved by this person. And like I said, this person is going to understand you fully. And you're going to feel that deep connection. This is why you will recognize this person when they finally appear. And they don't want you to play any type of game like resisting them or just running away. Because that will just really bother them if you do so. Because they really want to have you know, a role in your life and an impact in your life. Let's see you now their traits and qualities. Who is your twin flame? Someone caring. And here you can see somebody cooking in the morning. And I'm sure you will love that, just to wake up next to each other, eating food together. It's just very cozy <laughs> in PJs. Oh, yeah. It's just like, you know, the dream to me because... You just find comfort and, and love in the little things. So here we have somebody sentimental. So let me show you these. So caring, sentimental, secretive, a spy. So they can be indeed spying on you, looking at your social media without saying things. Um, yeah, so <laughs> even though you may suspect somebody's looking at me, 
they still are very good at keeping secrets. Um, and we have somebody gentle. So gentle, secretive, caring, and sentimental. These are your twin flames traits. Let's continue and pick the other techniques. Let's start with this one. So for the signs, we add fire. It could be spring season too, as like a move happening. And we have summer season with the water, or this could be a water sign. So let's see the grid, which could be confirmation for you if you know your twin flames zodiac sign. Okay, so we have Libra, Aries, and Pisces especially. We can see more of them with letters and words. And here you will see especially like a name, a word appearing, initials, could be a place as well. Let's see what shows up for you. All right. We have the C. So maybe the C. Is this one blank? Yes. The sea, I thought of travel too, our destination, LA could be a place, we have Las and Vegas kind of showing up, so it could be, in French I see summer as a season, so it could be, because we saw that on the, card, on the cards too, leave, leave, we have a dream and she, so it could be a strong feminine essence. That is pretty much what I can see. I see salt, so I don't know, maybe someone... I mean, salt and sea can be, again, connected to like the water being salty. I think of ego too. Save. Wait, we saw that. Yes, I came here to save you. And you can see save indeed. So I guess it's for a reason. <laughs> Let's continue and pick this grid. And I'm going to pick some chimes so we can see more symbols for you guys. And again, more letters and words possibly. What I see is you will come out of your cage, which means liberation, opening your wings, not being afraid anymore, welcoming the unknown. We have someone who will be good to you. And with the octopus, I see somebody who is working on different things right now. And we have, I think of age, age, maybe some age difference. IG, Instagram. Can we see other platforms? Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Instagram. <laughs> but yes, now let's pick the book of answers. So I invite you to think of a question. If you need to post the video to think of this one, do so. But let's see. I thought something was under. Let's see. So group number one, what is the guidance? What is the answer? I'll move this in the middle. Let's see. Glitch. So let's ask again. Possibly glitches like electricity or things acting up can be a sign as well. Especially when you guys will be together. And that's a big yes. Group number two. Let's start and see the message from your twin flame. So I will heal your heart is the starting message here. So what I see is somebody who wants to make you feel better, who wants to support you, who wants to be here for you, especially emotionally, mentally. I just see a supporter, someone who is very caring, empathic, and you guys won't have to talk about these things. This person will feel you. One of you can be a healer or meant to be a healer in this lifetime. It doesn't have to be, you have to be a doctor or nurse or anything like this. Healer can just be being supportive, being a good listener, providing the best service or product, something like this, like this. But in the essence, this will be something that heals people. So this could be, of course, connected to your divine mission or your twin flame's divine mission. 
As for the tarot cards, we have the strength card and we could see the saving energy. So strength in the connection and feeling like you are always supported, always taken care of by your person and you might want to give back. I just see the two of you so connected, so loving, so caring that yes, of course, you want to give your best and you want to give support to your person here. And with the way she is caressing his head, that shows love, care and physically showing your love. So it could be with a caress, it could be with a kiss, it could be with words, but I see somebody including you, giving to your twin flame and loving your twin flame so much that you're going to heal each other. And possibly in this lifetime, you guys were suffering a lot, which is what you can see with the heart and all the swords in this one. I'll show you a close up actually. And I think this can relate to your and your twin flame's past. And this is why you come now together to kind of erase these pains or transmute these pains into your strength, into what makes you more courageous. As like, I am invincible because I survived these things. And I think this might be connected to your tribe. In my opinion, and to be truly honest with you, you came here for something divine. And this is to awaken the collective through what you did experience, which was possibly very painful for your soul. Your soul possibly does not really like to be here. And you might feel like I'm not really part of this uh, earth experience or human experience. I don't feel so connected to humans. Or sometimes it's very difficult just to be on earth. But Thankfully, you have amazing friends or will be manifesting your tribe. Now, know that you'll be or become really popular in the future when following your purpose. And your purpose, in my opinion, is to be a supporter, a loving, courageous, bold and confident person. So believing in your dreams and following your dreams will help you to be attracting your tribe. This could be a sign as well connected to your twin flame here. So perhaps your twin flame is trying to make you aware that you are in the same environment, the same bubble. We have the sea at a distance, could be significant. We have a party going on, could be significant as well. So you can be meeting at a party or somewhere where is the sea and we have the mountains at the distance too or when you open your wings to fly somewhere could be a different place different country but you'll feel like you'll feel if you're called to go to a different place or if you're attracted towards a certain culture because everything is within you the codes the map this inner compass this is always guiding you towards the ones so your community, soul family, and including your twin flame, of course. What I see is that you guys will celebrate your time together. You will enjoy each other like best friends. Because that's a card connecting to soul family, friend, celebration, feeling connected. So what this announces as well is union, coming together. And this will possibly start as a friendship and then love will grow from the two of you. You guys can be very different in the essence too because we have Beauty and the Beast on this one. So if you have seen Beauty and the Beast, they are completely different beings but they also can relate to each other because of the treatments they experience, the pain they hold in their heart, which is what we saw here. So perhaps Beauty and the Beast is your story or you can relate to a lot of things with that story. If you look at this, this makes me think of the, um, you know, these type of portals with a lot of flowers. This makes me think of a wedding celebration. So I'm not sure if this is about your wedding or if this is like the party you go to and then you meet your twin flame there. This could be a sign. So let's see couple cards for you guys <laughs> which the, I can honestly like whenever spirits are doing these things I'm always like okay um but yes it's magical we just talked about marriage and then boom confirmation yes indeed so this could be your marriage and your twin flame might be telling you don't you dare <laughs> don't you dare marrying somebody because you are mine and we 
are meant to be married in this lifetime we're meant to be together in this lifetime so if this starts as a friendship i am not seeing this lasting because we have love in the air and you guys are indeed meant to be married and here we have i have been waiting for you the, i mean i was really guided to write this title so please remember me because there is this calling this urge this desire to be together so i have been waiting for you please remember me because we are meant to be together and i'm waiting for us to get back together and marry each other and finally feel connected soul to soul because of love so i have been waiting for you this person is just calling you right now this person is like please please just notice me because i have been waiting for you and i want us finally to be together because i think the separation is torture not just for you but also for the person and this is why it is showing up to let you know okay it's time <laughs> it's time to be together or maybe you are together and this resonates as like the next step and you know now they have been waiting for somebody like you. They wanted something special. So for the message cards, we have... I'll be here in your ups and down. We could see this. <laughs> we could see indeed a supporter, someone healing you and making you feel reassured. And are you feeling better? Told you healer energy or healing relationship feeling so understood and taken care of and somebody here is just going to be very transparent with that so whenever like you feel like talking to somebody or just hugging somebody or just being present with somebody they will show up and they will always ask you are you feeling okay how is your day going Yes, someone here is truly invested and so caring. So caring and so loving. So let's see now places. Oh, wait, not places. That comes after. Um, personality traits. So who is your twin flame? But so far I see a leader. I see someone who is very passionate. This could be a Leo, by the way. So we have Leo and water signs. And I think of Pisces because we have the fish appearing. Um, and we have somebody very friendly, social, very fun to be around, very, you know, charismatic as well. We have some men, we have again the marriage reference, obedience. So someone who is going to be obedient. Like if you want them to do something for you, rather it's like, uh, cleaning cleaning with you or uh, traveling with you doing something specific they will just be like of course let's do it you know they won't be like resisting things or just being like nah do it yourself you know not totally not the attitude so somebody obedient let's see one more and somebody cuddly and this could be what you guys enjoy, just staying at home under the covers, cuddling, feeling close to each other. And of course, these hints can be a sign. We have winter season. And then at the distance, you can see a desk, like a working place. So perhaps they work from home. This could be a sign. Or they can be contacting you on the computer or through the internet. I'm just saying that because these can be hints for you guys and this may just be like okay now i know who that person is or you will know when meeting your twin flame so let's pick places now walk in nature so you guys will love to go walk in nature and i'm sure this is what grounds you like you love to be around natural places or like if you live in the city, you may just love to go walk in the park. You know, just connect with nature and the fresh air. Or just for the date, for the first date or just on dates, you might just love to be around nature and not be too stimulated by activities and things to do together. One flipped or no? Yes, one flipped. So after work, you can be meeting or perhaps this person might just come to your workplace and pick you up. If you work from home, <laughs> this could just be visiting your place. We talked about online and this is indeed showing up on the sky. So through the phone or computer. So here we are to walk in the park. Butterflies can be signs that you see 
because we have one right there. And this symbol represents change, transformation and rebirth. So maybe that's about when you two will be together, you'll feel like you want to evolve, to change, to become better. Or this can just be like, oh, now I feel alive because I have you. And we have after work and online. So of course, all this can be very significant for you guys to recognize who that twin flame is or things you will do together. So let's continue and pick the grid. So we can see the zodiac sign. So far we had Leo and water signs. If not, the signs could be seasons too. So summer and Leo season, which is summer. All right, so here we have Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Taurus. We can see more of them with letters and words. So let's pick them. But here you will especially see places, um, maybe a word that is significant for you. And this can connect to your twin flame's name. We have a trip. This one is blank. N E R. I see Aaron, so it could be the name. Uh, beneath Dream Smile, Virgo, he, so masculine energy. This is funny because, spoiler alert, um, but pile number one at the feminine energy. So perhaps one of these two piles were like, this is my energy, and the other one was more of your twin flames energy. So if you feel guided to go to pile number one, this could be your energy. I don't know, but I think they are connected. And here we have China, maybe a trip to China or somebody who is from this place. But of course you can see something significant. I'm not seeing any word, but we can see more of them because I'm going to pick chimes and we have letters and words in this one. So let's see more hints. As for the numbers, we have 1111, so it could be 1111 that you see, or this could be connected to a new beginning, if you see 111 a lot, or the start of that connection. We have USA as another place. I see gut, so it could be German, I don't know. We have two angels showing up, so you might have indeed your higher self or angels around assisting the two of you. We have gut, so listen to your gut feeling as well. We have win with the end here, so winning energy. Or you'll feel like winning the lottery when you meet this person. So with this one, I see that need of freeing yourself, possibly traveling somewhere. We have name, so you can see possibly the name of your person. We have week, USA, idea. Happy, rich. So with the toothpaste, I see this as a refle er, as a refreshing relationship. Then I see that you guys will anchor yourself with a person. You want to stick to your person. The universe is on your side. This person is going to be a big thinker. They can be born during monkey year, you know, the, the zodiac sign from Asia. What else? Again, the angel wings. <laughs> Maybe you guys are earth angels too. You know, you can have this origin, soul origin. I see someone crafty, very romantic as well with the rose. Someone who's very good with their hands. Someone loving, caring, protective, who wants to grow with you, who wants to stick with you. With the key, of course, this talks about destiny or a portal, a door opening for the two of you. And there is love, deep love here presented to you. Birds can be signs that you see or they can just be messengers for you. So just so you know, if you see birds a lot or if you see birds and you think of something, this can be a telepathic message they send to you. So let's pick now the book of answers. Think of your question. If you need to post a video to think of this one, do so. So let's see group number two. <laughs> we have a romantic date for you guys. Congrats. So group number three, let's start and see the message your twin flame wants you to know. So here we have, I can't 
hold back anymore. So there is indeed tension, desire, unless this is you, because that could be you. But there is so much tempta temptation, desire, and need to be together. But this is building up the intimacy and really that physical connection between your two souls. So I can't hold back anymore. As for the tower cards, we have the magician and we have the seven of cups. I think these are very connected because they are manifestation cards. Everything you want to create as the magician, this wizard, you will be attracting. And you can see all the things he wants, he gets. And he is the key of his manifestations. This could be a sign for you. If you want to get everything you desire, everything you picture, you will be or be guided to become the magician, to become a leader, to become confident in your power of manifesting. And this could be what your twin flame is trying to tell you. Don't think little of yourself because your soul is very powerful. You are a magical being. And if you couldn't or cannot see the magic in you, I will make sure that you understand. Now it is time for you to focus on what you want instead of what no longer resonate with you or no longer makes you happy. Whatever you focus on, you attract. Whatever you give power to and meaning to, you attract faster. So you are becoming an infinite, powerful creator, infinite being. And Pinocchio, actually, I, I saw a video that was very interesting about Pinocchio. Actually, the origin, Pin is pineal gland and what this tells you is that this can be this inner core frequency inner core power which is within you that is activated through your pineal gland and maybe that's a sign that when you activate your third eye you will be in perfect connection telepathically or energetically with your twin flame or this is possibly already happening but you have to know that this power is within you. And actually what I like about Pinocchio is he is somebody who trusts everything. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad because he's very naive. But at the same time, this is what guides him to become what he dreams to be, which is a real boy. So this is the same for you. What was your soul dreaming about? Ever since you're a kid, what is something that you want to become? And this big dream, when you can be like Pinocchio, trusting, this is when you manifest all the wonders and all these beautiful adventures. And this is also a code. Pinocchio, even though it's just a few days, he experienced so many things, so many life lessons. And with him being so awakened and trusting and believing and dreaming, but also being disappointed sometimes, he is growing as a kid as a real little boy. So I think that's the realness of this experience too. So try to picture yourself as Pinocchio in this lifetime. What was something that, you know, made you become more human or more alive or more divine possibly? And all these things were collected adventures and experiences that made you become divine or more powerful on a soul level. But remember, you are the creator, you are the manifester, and this magic lives within you. It's not outside of you. Many people just believe I receive because it's available. No, you create that. And many inspiring beings created the first thing, the first, let's say, the first phone, the first computer. Like someone had to think about it and to embody that vessel for that creation to happen. So what is something that you came here to become? This group is very... Like, that's high. I can tell, like, the, the mission that you have and who you are meant to become is something else. Like, that's something very deep, profound, and spiritual. So you might be somebody who is going to awaken or you are awakened. And your twin flame is telling you, now that you're really tapping into your divine self, possibly through your third eye, remember, pineal gland. And please, Picture that symbol. Whenever you see Pinocchio, think of your pineal gland or connect back to your third eye. Close your eyes and see what comes to you. Rather, a feeling, a flash or something that activates. So that feeling is going to guide you towards the next things. 
But know that everything you want with your future twin flame, when being together, you'll be able to manifest easily. And when you guys will be together, this is gonna be on another level. Your manifestations, things aligning, things just being very powerful. This will be infinite. And everything that is significant and that you value will be offered to you effortlessly. She is flying high as well here. So this could be about you traveling or astral traveling to your person through your third eye or astral body to meet each other and to connect to what you guys desire to experience on earth. But this is a reminder that you guys are attracting each other and you can no longer resist each other because you become a magnet for each other. And this is going to be easier and easier to connect and to find each other. But you need to explore. You need to be adventurous for that to manifest faster. And focus on what you want. That's really the code here. If you, if you focus on what really matters to you, this is when you attract luck because we have number seven here and number one for the magician, which is about creation. So you are attracting, manifesting luck or everything that makes you feel like that's fortune. That's what connects to my soul because number seven is also associated to spirituality. So for the couple cards we have, I will take care of you and I don't like to see you in pain. Again, it's this very caring, loving energy. So your twin flame wants you to know that they will take care of you. Even if you guys are separated physically, they will come to you and care about you. Possibly talk to you or you might dream of them a lot. This is because they want to really connect with you and be present for you. And they don't like to see you in pain. They don't like to see you suffering. And possibly, and because we talked about this, Pinocchio experienced good and bad things, lessons that are actually valuable for him to grow and to be, you know, just a bit more selective with who to welcome, who to trust, etc. So in my opinion, this is showing up for you as well, because you might have the assistance of your twin flame for you to know when things are good, bad, or they have a good influence or not a good influence. And I want to show you too all the signs. I mean, if you saw Pinocchio, you know what these symbols are. So we have the little fairy, got fairy. Then we have the donkey, the um, cricket, and money, and uh, the well. So all these, I think, are very personal, deep symbols. So the fairy is about the wishes coming true. And what do you wish right now to become? As for the donkey, it's like the punishment. Like if you're a bad kid, a bad boy, you become a donkey. And I think it's kind of like, you know, taking away as you becoming or transmuting into the donkey as like becoming, um, I don't want to say brainless, but more like you was not being smart with your decisions. And so you are kind of being punished and becoming the donkey, at least with the storyline here. As for the, the cricket, this is, is conscious. I, th I mean, in French, we say conscience. So I think it is the, yeah, the, the conscious, inner conscious, because he's still growing and developing himself. So that's the inner song within you, this inner voice within you, in my opinion. As for the gold and the money, I, th I think it's related to what people are really craving for, but is this something really important for you? And if this is not important, you will still be rewarded and live an abundant life. As for the will, it's, be it's being trapped in it. So finding your way out of something can be something that resonates with you. It's very, very deep. Like these are very symbolic things, but this will resonate with you on the personal level. So these things are something you need to know. And because he holds the key, he is the key but also he is the escape door to manifest something different or just to value different things. So all these are signs and I think they are significant signs for you. So let's continue and see messages. So what your twin flame wants to say to you, in full bliss, <laughs> promise me you'll stay with me forever. Yes, of course. You know, I mean, we can see someone caring and just, it is hard for them just to be in that position where they're not really having 
a role to play if you are in separation, of course, or they will feel like, okay, I will take my time, but I feel limited at times and I want us to be forever together. So that's a promise and I'm sure you made that promise even before incarnating. And then we have in full bliss, this is how you guys will feel in each other's presence. And I'm sure this is going to be an evidence for you because when you meet your twin flame, your life is going to be easy and fun and exciting or just this will inspire you in so many ways or you'll feel like life is indeed a blessing, is indeed in full bliss because you'll feel more connected or you'll feel that this this lifetime is a gift for your souls and you have the opportunity to be here that's a gift so for the traits we have somebody overprotective i think that's because this person is so attached to you this person cares so much about you that it translates sometimes as being very protective or some people it's like overprotective and I saw 11 11 while saying that I think this is divine protection and translated as this type of habit but if you guys talk things out if you think that's too much it will just soften let's say with time let's see one more trait and then we have places so and somebody reliable and here you can see two lovers whoops <laughs> two lovers getting married so in my opinion that's a sign you guys will be or are married beyond this physical reality and i have a soul marriage reading if you guys want to watch it i think this can be a plus for you if you haven't seen this one but expect this person to be a future spouse and i do have also future spouse future fiance readings tons of them actually so check them out if you feel guided too but you guys are meant to marry each other let's see now places so where you guys can be meeting anything symbolic for you i'll take this one which flipped up we have the club we have the parking let's pick another one perfect and the convenience store so these can be significant places the parking, the club, and convenience store. Let's continue. So I'm going to pick now the grid so we can see the zodiac sign of your person. So far, for me, the, the magician is wands energy, especially. So this can relate to a fire sign. And as for this one, we have water. So water and fire sign. Let's see. If not the zodiac sign, by the way, they can be seasons. So this one I think of spring, which is one's essence and energy, magic. And as for this one, we have summer. Here we have Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. Let's pick now letters and words. So here you can see letters, words, um, or you can see, for example, did I say letters and words? <laughs> Sorry, I mean names places or a word that will speak to you some message let's see we have friend like fellow he so we have a masculine energy i love that on all the pals we had rather he or she so masculine feminine essence but take what resonate we have kids or a kid, so if you want to have kids together, or this can be connected to your childhood memories, because we saw that with Pinocchio. We have go, like, friend, somebody possibly following on social media, someone good. We have stars, so you can be star seeds, or this person could be an influent person, good and ever. I think this story is indeed something that will last forever. We have sad, so you guys can be sad to be in separation. We have ID, which could be the identity showing up. We can see more of them with the charms, which I'm going to pick right now. So let's see any type of hints for you with the charms. And you can play with all the letters, combine them. So V, P, O, B. 
and as for the chimes so i see true love for me the pin with the um, like the green heart which is the heart chakra color is true love here as for the pink it's about friendship to me so this will feel like dating a best friend as for these expect somebody to look beautiful with a peacock appearing then we have an elephant someone wise mature abandoned possibly very ambitious as well who has amazing ideas and this talks to me and you have idea <laughs> um this describes to me someone who is very inspired and avant-garde we have the lucky clover so somebody lucky or bringing luck into your life we have an angel so they can be an angel to you or angels can be assisting the two of you to be together as for the feather the feather to me is a symbol connected to what you think about and what you plan on doing so anything that you feel inspired to do might guide you towards this person and then we have hug so this is what this person wants to do with you i thought of I ikea as well just so you know let's continue next with the book of answers so think of your question and let's see what is the answer what's the guidance if you need to pause the video please do so let's see group number three precisely is the answer for you thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like this reading if you do give it a big thumbs up claim this energy down below in the comments subscribe if you're new if you want some personal guidance my book of answers and more everything is going to be linked down below check my other readings while you wait for me and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.